Trinity Exposed, number 23. God is a spirit? Let's read some scriptures here. John chapter 4, verse 21. Jesus saith unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Ye worship ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. Sorry to the Catholics out there that believe in replacement theology. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship Him. Hmm. I thought we are supposed to worship Jesus Christ. Well, we are. But then we have to worship the Father separately? Nope. You worship Jesus, you're worshiping the Father. But here's a fun one. Because you'll say, you know, I've said, you know, God is, is the soul of the Godhead. God the Father is the soul of the Godhead. And they say... Well, John chapter 4, verse 24 says God is a spirit. So that proves that he's not the soul. Um, let's read here. John chapter 4, verse 24. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. The woman saith unto him, I know that Messiah cometh, which is called Christ. When he is come, he will tell us all things. Jesus saith unto her, I that speak unto thee am he saying about the Messiah. But let's think about this for a minute. God is a spirit. All right. Um, it, would that be true for those of us that believe the biblical Godhead? Well, yeah, because you see God consists of three parts, body, soul, spirit. So you can say God is a singular spirit. He's got one spirit. But now if you believe the Trinity, satanic lie, God has to be three different spirits because Jesus is God the Son, according to the Trinitarians. So he has to have a spirit. God the Father is, you know, there and he has to have his own spirit. And the Holy Ghost has his own spirit, whatever that is. I have no idea. The Holy Spirit has his own spirit. Okay, that's a little odd. So God can't be a spirit. Kind of a problem for you if you're uh, trying to pro proclaim that you're a Bible-believing Christian. 